We basically want to see this conflict uh, concluded as soon as possible. Uh, civilian life at stake. Uh, we call on uh, the government also to allow the UN access to the new conflict zone so that we can take an assessment of the situation, assess the, the needs of this population, ascertain the number of IDBs in this area, allow the sick, the wounded, and the dead to be evacuated and try to have uh, a grip of the situation and support as much as possible uh, the relief efforts. <clears throat> this conflict is difficult because it's a war that is going on without international presence. And under such circumstances, it's everyone's guess as to what goes on in the conflict zone. We know that there are accusations and counter accusations. Uh, and I think the only way to really ascertain the magnitude of the conflict and the extent of the suffering and the death is to have an international presence. Whatever people say, you know, the, whatever this LTT propaganda, you could see um, that the time we are taking, you know, we are taking uh, these, all these uh, risks at, at uh, you know, at the expense of our soldiers. We are, a lot of soldiers are getting killed uh, and getting uh, injured because we, are, uh, we have restricted the use of heavy weapons. So uh, we, we, are, we take that risk uh, to purely to uh, prevent, avoid civilian casualties. And that is why we, the, you know, we are taking such a long time. That is why it's, it's slow in these uh, operations because of the civilians factor. The 48 hours period, we might see uh, a development it was, yeah, it was supposed to be an informal UN you know, Security Council meeting in uh, New York and Geneva. To coincide with this, they came out with these numbers and at the very beginning they started with 2,000 deaths. Then they reduced this to 1,200, then it to uh, 200, then it 300, you know, uh, all these numbers. And of course, uh, you know that nobody can uh, talk freely from that zone, you know, <laughs> without the influence of LTTE. Oh, shelling Honda, we not merely asked the government to refrain from shelling and engaging in use of heavy artillery from government controlled territory into Tamil civilian populated areas. We also appealed to both the government and the LTTE in the course of their military operations to ensure that the Tamil civilian safety is accepted as of paramount importance.